Hello guys, what's up? Your boy French Fry Warriors here, and today we are here to go over Records of Ragnarok. We got a double chapter actually, 93 and 94. So with that out of the way, I want to quickly get into this because I got a feeling this one's going to be juicy and probably you might see the end of this round, this, um, this chapter. Not 100% sure, but we'll see. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's get into it. So, we got both of them emitting their sword pressure. Okita, covered by blue sword pressure. His aura challenges the, Sus the sword god Susano again. This one looks like he's sweating a bit. He's sweating. Okita's ready for the smoke, man. He's ready for the heat. So beautiful. His blue is so intense. Yeah, it's like his very life is burning. Because it is, brother. It is. And he's, he needs to not waste time. Thank you so much. I'm doing something selfish, yet you are putting up with me. Your selfishness is my desire. Don't worry about anything. Just swing your sword to your heart's content. I am the Valkyrie who follows the swordsman's souls. Are you? I thought this dude was talking to Susano, thanking him as well. This dude, oh my gosh. Now they're releasing the Valkyrie? This late? Uh, you know what? We'll keep going. We'll keep going. Right now, let's bring out everything you have. The sixth Valkyrie. Skalmod? Skalmod? My pronunciation is horrible. Bear with me, but she got her cutie. She got a little cutie. I ain't gonna lie. She's kind of bad. <laughs> anyway, Okita and Sister Mold. Will they be fine? Seeing those two together, I feel I feel so uneasy. As a racket, you can sense this, right? Whether he wins or loses, this will be his final battle as a swordsman. Yeah, that's confirming his death. It has to. Final battle as a swordsman. Right now, Okita, having become completely one with Onigo, he wields a power capable of consuming his own body. Okita's body should have already broken down a long time ago, unable to withstand that power. Damn, you, you even see the blood spurts coming out of his body. If that's the case, then why that's mold? I'm just going to call it mold. That's mold's ability. The moment Okita accumulated as a swordsman and the future moments he would have experienced as a swordsman had he not died by his disease. All Okita's potential is being forced to be concentrated into this very present. This is this is essentially what um, Raiden Valkyrie was doing through that's essentially what she was doing, keeping his muscles together, allowing him to go all out, except with Okita's on crack this time, because basically this is saying that the experience he gained as a swordsman is into him right now, and whatever potential futures he would have had, this sounds like, yo, um, this sounds like Gohan unlocked potential form, like ultimate potential, when the Elder Khan locked his stuff. And saying that like this is your highest peak that's essentially what she's doing she's just unlocking peak okita right now yo okita no wonder this dude is so buffed this is insane like th whatever futures he would experience he's gaining all that power right now yo she's drawing out all of his potential yep as i said in other words okita staking everything present past and future on this very moment he attained the perfect body for a swordsman. The sixth of the Valkyrie, the power that dwells within her, is Age of Sword. Yo, oh my gosh. I mean, I mean, if I'm being honest, this is coming pretty late into the game, bro. This is coming pretty late into the game, which is I'm not a fan of, but it is what it is. At least she's here, and at least we get to see and know what she does. I thought this dude was just having no Valkyrie at all, but now he he really did. Okita has decided to put in to uh, decide to put into use all of his swordsmanship in battle. All right, he's uh, time to see what he's really about. Then here I go. He's coming. He's faster, probably. Yep, so fast. Demon Claw Thrust versus Shinya Yayorozu. He manages to deflect it, it seems a bit, or counter it. Or he attempts to counter it. Oh shit, Okita dodged it. 
He's coming behind with a flying dragon. Is he going to catch him? Ooh, this little. He tries to get him. And then he comes from the other side. Oblique dragon. Tiger's tail. Yo, he's just using. He's just comboing. But Susano's still blocking. So he's coming from behind. He's like, what? What the hell? What is this combo? This is not even in the same realm as fast. Whether I block or dodge him, another attack comes right after. I can't counter attack and I can't escape. Yo. He has Susano on the ropes right now. Like, he's like, yo, I ain't here to play, bro. I'm here to take you out. Damn. He's using all these techniques. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not pronouncing all these names, but let me count the names I'm seeing. I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This is thirteen moves I'm seeing. Thirteen combo moves that he's performing faster than. Susano literally, this dude literally just said, this is not even in the same realm as fast. And he's pulling off all these combos. And somehow Susano is blocking this. Look at this. He's saying, let's go. He's like, bring it on. Let's go. I'm blocking all your shits. Okita displayed a ceaseless violent series of attack. Susano, with, even with the impregnable Shina Yayarozu, is barely enduring this. It's too fast. I don't know what's going on anymore. Yo, even he even the god himself, Hemdal. I hype up Hemdal in my head. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little headcanon to me. But even he can't see this shit, bro. Ho ho, now that, those two, they are amazing. It seems that even Shinya Yarozu is evolving as being used in battle. Are you saying Okita is suppressing even his evolution? They're going crazy right now. I'm not even going to lie. Good grief. That's impossible. Those consecutive strikes and those movements, they far exceed the human limit. Because my dude's with the demon right now. He got that demon in him. That dog in him. What the hell is that? Okita is so fucking awesome and cool. Old man, the Shikan had secret techniques like that. He's like, I don't believe what the hell I'm seeing. Gondo's like, I can't believe it. Each strike he lands is a deadly blow from the Tenin Rishi Ryu style. It's essentially a sword designed for one hit kills. Okay, bro. That's. That's like. This is literally also like. um. This is literally like. Uh, with, with Adam. With Zeus's Adamus form, where they're like, yo, every punch is a one hit kill. It's basically like saying the same thing with Okita. Like, Okita is starting to remind me now of, like, Zeus, if Zeus was a swordman. Because he's, like, swinging out, like, techniques that should be one-hit kills. But to continue to unleash that as a series of attacks is impossible in terms of body mechanics. When and where did Soji learn something like that? This dude was working, bro. He was working. Okita's dreamlike series of techniques were unknown to even Kondo. However... There was only one person who gazed upon that figure of Okita with a myriad of emotions. Hang in there, Soji. Who is this? Child of Gardener, Higuro Ichimasu? Okay. Even in, his year, even in his later years, as his illness worsened, he was no longer able to wield a sword, Okita Soji. Never gave up on his swordsmanship. Is he writing down the, the swordsmanship? Okita, you should rest. Not yet. Cause of blood. If you don't rest, you'll eventually die. Ichimasu, please grind more ink for me. I beg you. He's like, I'm trying to put my work in here. Those were the fruits of countless hours spent co combining and refining over 80 techniques of the Tenen Rishin Ryu on the battlefield. A completely new series of linked attacks, a martial art which was divided by Okita himself. Bro, bro, what? Yo, 
this dude said, all right, I can't, I can't use the sword. Let me come up with all these combos, bro. That's insane, bro. If a Ragnarok fighting game ever comes out, you know kids are going to have the most combos. He took 80 techniques and combined them. You know how many sequences you can make with, with just, with just 10 techniques. You know how many sequences you can make to like mix it up. This dude has 80. And he's combining them. Th Yo, oh my, this is. And it was the martial art that he made himself. So no one else knows about this, but Okita himself. Yo, Okita is insane, bro. This is crazy feats, bro. I will fight alongside Kondo and everyone. Okita, born from the desperate flapping of imaginary wings while he was confined to a sick bed. They were far from reality exceeding the limits of a human being but for that very reason because he did it and because of his vacuum's potential okita's sword transcended human logic and soared into the heavens yo he's ready for susano we got the nice eagle for falcon probably falcon we got a nice falcon pose it's called Tenen Rishi Ryu, Empyrean, the kite that returns to the heavens. The kite that returns to the heavens, Empyrean. Empyrean, what's that? The kite soars and returns to the sky. It expresses the states of all things freely enjoying themselves according to their natural inclinations. It's a Chinese poem that my father fostered, the third headmaster used as a seal in the inscription for ultimate techniques of our school. Okita has finally reached the highest realm of that ultimate technique, a place where no one else has been. Yo, my boy Okita. Yo, just, there's just so much, bro. There's, there's so much in this chapter and we still got more, bro. He's bringing out more techniques, sudden cloud, Sharon wheel. I'm not saying all these techniques, but just know he's coming for Susu. I can't even catch my breath. It's like I'm being crushed by an avalanche. Yo, I don't know how Susu is able to block this. I really don't. Okita, my man, I knew it. You are the greatest. Ooh, he dodges it. You led me here to the peak. Thank you. Here it comes, the three-stage thrust. No, it's not that. That's not the three-stage thrust. Ooh, he's coming out with something good. Go for it, Okita. The strike unleashed at the end of continuous attack. Here it is. One transcended the speed of the god. Okay, he knocked that one. Two, he flashes through transcended humanity and pierced the boundary between gods and humans oh shit he's coming from behind with the eagle it's called three demon claw three stage thrust he literally com yeah he just combined the two but still sick combining demon claw and three stage thrust he's gonna hit him he has to hit him he still blocked it there's no way no way he barely Bro, think about it like this. He barely was able to block this attack when he had the sheet thing and it broke that. So he has to do some damage to this guy. Oh, oh, he's cracking the sword. No way he's going to break the blade. Oh, Susu's pushing back. He's like, ah. And they swing, they clash. What happened? The sword demon, Ison? Eason, whatever, pierced right through the sacred treasure and the god? Yo, he actually hit Susano? Let's fucking go! As he said, yo! Yo! Fellas, 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 fe oh, oh my gosh. I'm not gonna get into it too much, but bro, do y'all realize what this means? Okita literally just shattered he broke not just any sword not just any divine weapon 
he broke a divine weapon that was made by both the gods and humans together bro together like yo bro oh my okita just he just performed the crazy feat bro he performed the crazy feat this is like the first round where a i believe a god has had their divine weapon shattered i'm thinking to my memory really quickly here yes like no one else has had their shit shattered before well if you want to count buddha but he was on the when heijin destroyed his shit but he was on um the human side but i mean you could count buddha if you want but i'm counting this as susano because for susano because he's literally on the god side like well technically also quinn did break hades trident so listen man, i'm hyping this moment up because it was made by both gods and humans that's crazy that's insane and he pierced susano bro susano pack it up bro pack it up pack it up susano fans okita fans be ready to pack it up too y'all not safe it can't be to think that sword would be shattered this has to be a lie sano yo this shook while everyone in the arena was certain of okita's victory there was one human who felt a sense of unease. Oh no, don't tell me. What is this dude gonna pull out now? It was none other than Okita Soji. Also, where is uh his aura disappear is disappearing? Bro, what is Susan gonna pull out? This is a real battle. This is even without being able to wield a sword. He never gave up on the sword okita's sword this is swordsmanship what is he gonna do a spirit bomb or something thanks to you i was finally able to reach it what's that a surrendering pose no i don't feel any weakness from that indeed how divine it's as if he's praying oh no i don't like this the sword god raised both his fists and palms together towards the sky and gently he grasped the hilt of the sacred treasure, a sword he thought he lost. Slowly, as usual, he assumed a formal stance. Yo, Okita, get ready. He's gonna pull something, bro. And then, as if child's play, he swung down an invisible sword? And then he swings down, and then Okita dodges it by the one who continued to love the sword a miracle was accomplished i don't like i don't like the sound of this okay he hit him it seems like but he didn't cut off his limb but he definitely hit him what the my left arm my left leg were cut no their insides were cut he cut the bone through the bone it's yo without even severing the limbs at last i reached it the peak of my swordsmanship unparalleled thoughtless and without adornment this is simply musoken the un the the unordinate ordin or native mental I don't know how to say that I'm so sorry I butchered that I I don't know how to say that but we'll just say the mu musoken invisible sword and that's the end of the chapter of uh, both chapter 93 and 94 of course but what this dude uh, I uh, this uh, Fellas, fellas, fellas. I'm gonna be real with you. This there's a lot to unpack here. There's a lot. A lot. And if I really said everything that I wanted to say, we would be here a whole half an hour, maybe probably 45 minutes. <laughs> but I wanna sit with some of these thoughts. I wanna sit with some of these thoughts, bro. I wanna sit with some of these thoughts. And then I'll obviously say them in my review. But I'll give y'all a quick rundown of everything I'm thinking about. There's a couple points we need to hit. Let's start from the back. 
First of all, the invisible sword. Are you serious, bro? The invisible sword. That didn't cut Okita's limbs. It cut his bones, bro. His bones. I don't even know how this dude even sensed it. Maybe he dodged by instinct. And it's like, I'm, I'm a little bit worried for Okita now. Because I don't see him have the the demon aura. So I don't know if it's gone and he just turned it off for now. I don't know. I don't know. First of all, this thing cuts through bones, which is insane that Susano, he doesn't even need a weapon now. He has his own divine weapon. That's how in tune with swordsmanship he is with, I guess. That's insane. Then we got this, this, I love this whole come around, bro. Like about how, you know, Okita, he's using everything in the past, present and future. And it's all that versus, you know, Susano, because Susan has learned all the techniques through, throughout history, so he's using that as well. So in a way, like they're both using everything in their nods, like everything in history to kind of say, you know, Okita's, and that now that you think about it, it it's it makes sense why Susan struggled against it because no one else had seen it but Okita, and when Okita had seen it, or when Okita thought of it. He himself couldn't do it either because, you know, at this time, he couldn't really wield a sword. So, this is why all this is brand new to Susano, which I'm going to say right off the bat. Let me just scroll all the way up there. Yo, props to Susano to block all this, bro. All this for the. Let me go back to the panel, bro. For the first time seeing all these techniques, keep in mind, Okita's buff, bro. He's hella buff with the Valkyrie, the demon, his speed, all that. And he's throwing out all these combo moves back to back to back to back to back. Susano said, he said, bro, this is not even in the realm of fast anymore. It's not even in the realm of fast. He can't block. He, he, he can't counterattack. Like, no matter what, it's something after that. And not he can't block, but like literally this dude, he said he cannot breathe and he's still somehow able to counter all this. Yo, props to Susano, bro. This dude's a tank, bro. I don't, Susano got some of the craziest durability reaction feats I've ever seen, bro. Like, absolutely insane what Okita's coming with, bro. And then, yeah, what he's coming with, first of all, the Valkyrie, I, <sighs> All right, she came late to the party. She came pretty late to the party. I just, I wish we knew about her at the very least or something like that. But you know what? She's here. She got introduced. Well, I'll take that. That's probably the least thing right now. But like, bro, Kita with his past, present, and future knowledge, like, uh, all that is in is in him right now. Like, this is this is <laughs> Okita's potential man right now. This is potential man right now, bro. Okita's oh, insanely buffed. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. He's buffed like crazy. Is that and like once again, yeah, Susano blocking all of this and like him writing down all these merciless combos. These panels were sick. I'm not gonna lie though. These were nice panels. I know I've been saying that for like every chapter, but honestly, I just I like this round like panels bro like they're all like really nice but yeah there's that and yeah Susano's invisible sword the new three stage thrust was very nice and like Okita with the new feet bro breaking it's not a new feet I should stop saying that but breaking also Susano's divine weapon that was made by both gods and humans and he got pierced and he's still willing to continue fighting. Like, bro, honestly, like, with Susano pulling out this this new invisible sword, honestly, bro, I don't even know who's gonna win at this point. I'm always for Team Okita. I'm still Team Okita, but like before, like this chapter, the chapter goes like, yeah, Okita got this in the bag. Susano's cooked. He's not bringing out anything new. Dude brings out a whole invisible sword that cuts straight through the bone. Like, insane, bro, insane. And I don't know what Okita's gonna do now because he has half his body once again injured. And this time, really cut, cut. 
I mean, I'm, I'm sure Okita will think of something, but like, I don't know, man. Looking more grim for him now, and his fate's already sealed. So it's like, I'm truly wondering if he can cop a W before he dies, bro. I don't know, bro. Like, if I really have to be honest, if I'm being generous, I think it's 70% chance. I want to say 60 as well, but it's honestly the flip of a coin at this point. It truly is the flip of a coin where anything's possible to damn happen. Just like, Jesus, man, like insane. And lastly, this round did not end, bro. This round did not end. This has been by far one of the longest damn rounds ever. But we have to keep in mind that we had a little, we had a whole sideway, you know, to Odin, Thor, Buddha, Beelzebub, Adamus, all them guys came in. There's a chapter dedicated for that. And then I think a little part of the other chapter, the next chapter, the previous chapter was also dedicated to that. So we have to keep that in mind as well. But still, like, this this round is long. I'm not gonna lie. I'm surprised this shit did not end. And it's not saying at the bottom here, oh, this this is gonna end like next month. Like honestly, I'm I'm like, yo, there's nothing more these guys could pull out. Honestly, both of these are probably at the point where it's like they're like a couple slashes away. Like probably two slashes away from dying. Honestly. I don't I don't see either of them surviving for long. So I think it's really gonna end next month. But overall, a lot of good things. This video is almost a half an hour long, and I'm not going to keep going about this. I'll go more in depth with the review and everything, honestly. That was just a quick thought I had. Apparently, there's a lot of thoughts. But anyway, thank you all for taking the time to go with me through this double chapter, this awesome chapter. I appreciate you all for watching my reaction and all my other videos. Thank you very much for the support. Please like the video if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate y'all for the time y'all give to me. And with that out of the way, I want to let y'all go now. Stay safe out there and be good people out there. I appreciate y'all and I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace.